Hi, this is Dr. John Bergduff. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about piecewise functions. In particular, I have drawn a graph of a piecewise function, and we're going to come up with the equation that defines it. Remember that a piecewise function is a function that is defined differently on different parts of its domain. So you can see very plainly in looking at this picture that there are kind of two pieces to this graph depending on the part of the domain you're looking at. Now the domain again refers to the values of x, so we're looking at which values of x uh, is the first piece defined over and which values of x is the second piece defined over. So if you imagine just for a second the x-axis and look at the left piece of the graph, notice that that piece of the graph is defined for all values of x along the x-axis from negative infinity up to, but not including because of the open circle, 2. So when I write my equation for this piecewise function, I'm going to have to write it so that there is room for two pieces, and one piece will be valid for values of x that are less than, but not equal to 2, with some sort of expression that I'm going to need to fill in right there. And the other piece is defined for all values of x beginning and including 2 and going on to infinity. So the second piece will be defined for values of x greater than or equal to 2. And again, there'll be some sort of expression right in here. Our job in this exercise is to figure out what is the appropriate uh, uh, expression to define the two separate pieces. Let me clean this up just a little bit, erase some of that and some of that. Let me focus just on the graph itself. Let me repair it since I messed it up. All right, let's look at the piece on the left. As you can see, that's going to be a straight line. So I can use everything that I have learned about lines to figure out what that a piece of the of the expression should be. And one thing I remember about straight lines is the slope-intercept form that says that I can identify the, 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 fu the function, the equation defining the function, if I only know the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. So I can see that the b, the value of b in this expression, would have to be 1. What about the slope? Well, remember just very informally that the slope defines how a graph moves from one point to another. Look at the point, the y-intercept that I found, and that final point that's not actually included, and notice that as I move from one point to another, the graph moves upwards three units and to the right two units. That's a rise over run. And uh, with the rise being 3 and the run being 2, that tells me my slope would be 3 halves. Now, remembering that y and f of x basically mean the same thing, what that says is that an equation or expression that would define the first part of my graph would be 3, oops, sorry, 3 halves x plus 1. So f of x is equal to 3 halves x plus 1 if x is less than 2. Now what if x is greater than or equal to 2? This is now we're looking at this piece. Again, it's a line, but this line, or this part of a line, is a horizontal line, and we remember that horizontal lines have equations in y only. So this is going to have an equation of the form y equals something. y equal what? Well, it has to make all of the points on this piece of the graph valid. And if you look at some of these points, uh, this one here is the point uh, 2, negative 3. This point over here would be the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 3. The thing they have in common is that the y value is negative 3. So that line, uh, or part of a line, would be defined by y equal negative 3, and that gives me the expression that I can put in the second part. So an equation that defines this piecewise function could look exactly like this, 
f of x is equal to 3 halves x plus 1 if the x is less than 2, and negative 3 if x is greater than or equal to 2.